Hi guys, I'm Chris Ignato and you're watching my YouTube. So check this out, there's two things I want to show you. One is a pitcher plant, which I already have a, a video on them. But next is uh, a very useful plant called sphagnum moss, one of my favorite plants. Let me show you the pitcher plant first, just because it's cool. Here we go, here's some pitcher plants right here. They're all through this swamp. This one's got some water in it and a little insect. See it? This one here. See those hairs that direct the food down and it can't get out because they get in the way. The hairs hinder it. Really amazing stuff. But this is what I really want to show you because I haven't made a video on this yet. It's one of my favorite plants of all. Sphagnum moss. Okay. Now this filters water really well. In fact, check it out. See that beautiful water? You can almost drink that the way it is. Often you can, but I, I don't suggest drinking water without taking appropriate measures like filtration, boiling, and stuff like that, just to be safe. Look at that, it just comes right up. Okay, now it's a twig that's in there. So the sphagnum moss, as I said, is really good for filtering water. And it's also a great dressing for wounds. Back in the war, we're running out of bandages so much because of all the injured people and stuff that decided to pack the wound or you know cover the wound with some of the sphagnum moss just because they were running out of stuff. And they found that the wounds that were covered with sphagnum moss healed quicker than those wounds that were covered with normal bandaging. So that's cool stuff. Look at the water just drip out of this when I squeeze it. Isn't that neat? Um, another cool thing about this plant is I find it to be cooling. I've had a, a rat one year, I had a cold real bad uh, years ago. And all around my nose, I had a rash from the tissues and stuff, you know? And I said, well, you know, why not? Just for the heck of it. I was sitting around in a swamp, I found a lot of this stuff. And I just had this urge to try. That was before I knew anything about this plant. And I put it around my nose and held it there for a while because it was so cooling. And it got rid of my rash. And it felt really good. Um, I've done that with sunburn. I've done it with other different skin issues too that I've had over the years. This stuff is wonderful. Sphagnum moss. Beautiful plant. It grows in swampy wetland areas, uh, especially cedar swamps. Uh, sphagnum bogs is what you often call them. And you can find it near cranberries and sundew and stuff like that. And of course, pitcher plants. Uh, sometimes it's red uh, because it has more iron in the soil. You know, when there's more iron in the soil, this will grow reddish. So that's pretty cool too. Okay, see you later guys.